Hi, this instructional video is about rational equations. More specifically, it's about using mixture problems, a word problem that uses rational equations to solve for the unknown unit cost or amount of goods. Uh, here's, let me explain how this works. Anytime they give you two different things, like in this case, raisins and nuts, at two different costs, and they're asking about either what is the new price if you mix them or how many units do you need each to get that price, here's how it works. You draw a little grid like the way I'm going to show you right now. Now, it's kind of silly, but the top, starting with the second little box over here, we call this the unit. The unit can be volumes, uh, uh, the number, amount of things, how heavy, depends on whatever the unit is. Then associated with that unit is a cost. So this will be called the unit cost. And finally, if you multiply the unit and the unit cost together, you will get the total amount. And on the left column, we put down <laughs> thing one. In this case, the thing one will be the raisins, I guess, huh? And it's price for each kilogram that goes over here. And then thing two. And in this case, the thing two will be referred to as the nuts that cost four seventy five for each kilogram. All right, so we're gonna use this chart always to set up the mixture problem. So let me keep this over here, kind of, if you could see that, and then go right ahead. Here's how it goes. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Over here is the unit. Here's the unit cost. Here's the total amount. Here's the thing one, but this is going to be the raisins. And the second thing is going to be the nuts. And here is the mixture of raisins and nuts. So it will have a different unit cost. And in this case, the raisins, they're telling you that it's $3.50 per kilogram. So that's the cost for each kilogram is $3.50. And nuts, it costs a lot more expensive, $4.75 per each kilogram. And the question is, how many kilograms of each one of those raisins and nuts do you need to mix to get a total of 20 kilograms at $4 each. And that makes sense. $4 each. If you're going to mix nuts that are more than raisins, it is a lot less. It's $4. But the question is, how many of those do you need to mix in to get a fair value of $4 for 20 kilograms? So now that we set it up, we have to find some unknowns here. Okay, here's what we do know. We want a total of 20 kilograms and each kilogram is $4 per unit. So that's 20 times 4, which is $80. This customer will pay $80 for 20 kilograms that has a mixture of raisins and nuts. Now, how many kilograms do you need for raisins and how many for nuts? Well, here's what we, we can say. When, for raisins, we could say we don't know. So when something is unknown in algebra, we just refer to it as x. Isn't that the way we always do it? x, the unknown. <laughs> and if raisins is x and the total mixture is 20, isn't 20 minus that unknown x give us the nuts? So we could say 20 minus x. We don't know what raisins is. But if you take that away from the 20 total weight, that remaining will be the nuts, and we'll just leave it as 20 minus x. As a result, just like the way we multiply 20 times 4 is 80, we could go x times 350, and since it's a variable x, we just say 3.5x. We don't need that 0 on the 100th place. We just go 3.5x. Then here, 20 minus x times this unit cost is going to be 4.75 times 
20 minus that unknown raisins. Take that out and whatever remains is the nuts. Multiply 4.75, that's what that means. And here's how it works. Whatever's in the far right column, that's going to be our equation. So it'll become 3.5x, and you're going to add to that raisin total cost plus the nuts total cost, 4.75 times 20 minus x, and that's going to equal the total cost of 20 kilograms at $4 for each kilogram the customer will pay. There it is. And there's your equation. So we're going to start evaluating by doing the distributor property. So I use my calculator to determine what is 4.75 times 20? That gives me 95. And 4.75 times negative x is just negative 4.75x. Plus, don't forget the raisins, <laughs> is 3.5x is equal to 80. Now we're going to combine the like term. Usually when we do this reader property, what follows is combine the like terms. In this case, we have 3.5x combined with negative 4.75x. So 4.75x minus 3.5x minus the 4.75 gives me negative 1.25, whoops, 1.25x plus 95 is equal to 80. Now to solve for x, we do the additive inverse of 95, so we subtract 95 to both sides of the equation. So we get negative 1.25x is equal to negative 15. And finally, to solve for x, we're going to divide the coefficient negative 1.25x, I mean negative 1.25 from the x, and so x becomes, well, negative negative becomes positive, and 15 divided by 1.25, that gives me exactly 12. So wait a minute, what is this 12? In this case, x is 12, so remember we assign the x as raisins. So x is 12. So for raisins, we want 12 kilograms. However, the nuts is 20 minus the x. And so that becomes 20 minus the 12, which in turn becomes 8. So for the nuts, we want 8 kilograms. And that is the total weight for raisins and nuts we want, which will add up to become 20 kilograms at $4 for each kilogram at a grand total of $80. Customers happy? and you got exactly what you priced before. There's your mixture. So now, if you got that, you try this one. All right, now this one is like the raisins and nuts, but instead, this time we have coffee beans. So let's bring that little template back up to help us set it up here. So we're gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. Here's the unit. How many units? In this case, how many pounds? Here, how much per pound? Okay, so it's a unit cost. And multiply them, you get a total cost, total amount. Total. And here is thing one. In this case, it's the cheaper one. Okay? Uh, so we don't know what it is. Coffee bean sells it for two dollars. Coffee one. Coffee two. And this coffee one is sold for two dollars per pound. The coffee two, they tell you how much of those un, uh, how much of those two dollars per pound should you mix with five pounds of this thing. So five pounds come here. And this one, how much does it cost? Oh, this is the cheaper one. Dollar twenty. Wow. It must have been grown in somebody's backyard. <laughs> As a result, okay, the mixture, the more expensive one is two dollars, the cheaper one's buck twenty, and they're letting us know that the mixture is only dollar sixty. And so, uh, they're asking us, well, uh, how many of those should we mix? So this plus that 
gives us the total mixture. Well, I don't know what this is. Since they don't tell us, we call this X. And since if we're supposed to mix the, the better coffee with the homegrown coffee, wouldn't that be like saying X plus 5? Now that we have all the information we need on the left side of the columns, we could multiply across. So if this is X total units, well, $2 per unit is 2, so we say 2X. We multiply across. And 5 units times $1.20 for each, so that's 5 times 1.2, that's going to be 6. And here, when we mix the unknown number of coffee with the homegrown one, that's X plus 5 times 160. So that's going to end up being 1.6 times the quantity of X plus 5. And like I said before, we're going to take all the information from the right side of the column. And then, we're going to make it into an equation. Because 2x, the expensive coffee, plus the homegrown coffee, should equal the mixture of it all, which is 1.6 times the quantity of x plus 5. And now we're going to solve for x. And to do that, we do the distributive property. 1.6x is time, uh, 1 1.6x. 1 1.6 times 5. 1.6 times 5. That gives me 8. And on the left side is still 2x plus 6. Now let's combine the x's together by bringing the 1.6 over to the left side. Because it's a smaller one. So as a result, 2x minus 1.6, that's 0.4x plus a 6 is equal to 8 on the right side that remains. Now to solve for x, we subtract the 6 from both sides of the equation. So we got 0.4x is equal to 2. And divide both sides by the coefficient 0.4, x becomes 2 divided by 0.4, that becomes 5. So what's this 5? Well that means we need to have 5 pounds of the better stuff. Coffee 1 we need 5 pounds. And since coffee 2, the homegrown one, is also 5 pounds, the mixture is going to be a total of 10 pounds. Sounds fair enough. Now you go and try your own mixture problems.